Captain Lewis Millet, Company E, distinguished himself by conspicuous gallantry and intrepidity above and beyond the call of duty in action, while personally leading his company in an attack against a strongly held position. He noted that the first platoon was pinned down by small arms, automatic, and anti-tank fire. Captain Millet ordered the 3D platoon forward, placed himself at the head of the two platoons, and with fixed bayonet, led the assault up the fire-swept hill. In the fierce charge Captain Millet bayoneted two enemy soldiers and boldly continued on, throwing grenades, clubbing and bayoneting the enemy, while urging his men forward by shouting encouragement. Despite vicious opposing fire, the whirlwind hand-to-hand -hand assault carried to the crest of the hill. His dauntless leadership and personal courage so inspired his men that they stormed into the hostile position and used their bayonets with such lethal effect that the enemy fled in wild disorder. During this fierce onslaught, Captain Millet was wounded by grenade fragments but refused evacuation until the objective was taken and firmly secured. For his leadership during the assault, Millet was awarded the Medal of Honor. The medal was formally presented to him by President Harry S. Truman in July 1951.